r slash ask men. Significant nature 70 says. I've been too nice all my life, how do I become a total jerk? I think I've been too nice of a person to people and too much of a green flag relationships, to the point that I absolutely hate being one. How do I become an asshole? The guy that doesn't give a frick, the guy people don't mess with, the kind of guy that women complain of yet can't seem to get over him? I hate being called nice and people still throw it on me like it's a compliment. My ex thought I like being called a green flag after literally being left for another guy who was an absolute jerk and she seems to have forgotten about my existence but can't seem to get over him. I really don't want to be that green flag token nice guy anymore. What can I do to change that? Pop to twith says. My man is figuring out his villain origin story on reddit. I love you at edgerals8856 says. Oh shit greatest sentence I've read this week. Counter sensitive 776 says. Baby steps. Start by going to old folks homes and messing with the dementia patients. Go to a dog shelter, pick a dog, then bring it back the next day without donating anything. Kick over little kids sand castles. Eventually you'll level up your asshole skills, if you keep at it. Punkrock9 says. Step 2 with a dog shelter, that's rough. That sounds like step 20, and would rather him kick more sand castles. L3EE says. There's got to be a balance here, find. The balance man. Dreelil says. What the, frick, did you just say nerd? Sunlight72 says. Nap, he's got to go too far toward jackass for a while, to find out where a balance is. You can't balance, having only ever been on the patsy side. Flux State says. Arsehole isn't the answer you seek. Usually nice is code for there's nothing wrong with this guy but he's boring. If you're talking to a chick, and she asks what's something fun you've done in the last month, make sure your only answer isn't video games or TV shows. Boring. Go see live music play, explore all the parks near your home, try local restaurants. Go to cultural activities in your area. Even if you don't enjoy a specific thing you try, that just gives you more to talk about. And honestly, do this for yourself too. Stop putting people on a pedestal. I'll treat you like a queen, my goddess don't do it. It's not fair to either of you. Treat women like people. Don't ever neg someone, but don't be afraid to give a woman you like a gentle ribbing. Many guys find that the women they aren't interested in give them the most interest because said guy acts natural around them. Big John 14 says. Finally a sane comment in this comment section. Sabada Domingos says. Exactly, don't be a jerk, just learn to set boundaries and enforce consequences. Respecting yourself first and foremost is key. That Mr. Nice Guy book is stupid shit as well. Brial Cream says. Continue being nice, just draw the line when people start treating you like a doormat. Brial Cream says. If people start using you and taking advantage of you, then my advice is enforce your boundaries. Generally, when people know they won't get away by treating you like a doormat, they will normally back off. It's only if you tolerate their behavior, that's when they will keep doing it again and again. Xenon says. Why would you want to be an asshole? Your problem is that you need to find a better woman, not become a worse man. Polythrowaway524 says. You need to adapt your taste in women, not your personality. Mayopum says. He needs to work on his personality, but not in the way he thinks. Being nice is good but borderline default. You can be nice but assertive, nice but strong, nice but funny, nice but entertaining, etc. Nice is a piece of the puzzle, not the entire set. Remstead says. If you don't have charisma being a jerk will not help. Rules Run 2 Bebroken says. 
Not sure if this is the answer to your specific question, but you should really stop caring what others think of you and concentrate on bettering yourself. Like for example, not caring what your ex-girlfriend thinks of you. R slash ask men. Pookie Privilege says. Men who message women, how often does it actually work? No hate or judgment. Just genuinely curious. It's so frequent it must be getting a response sometimes right. I don't really believe everyone ignores them. Sorry I didn't specify. I meant on reddit, but basically anywhere where you DM strangers. Travy Jeep says. Definitely doesn't work for me. Brutact says. Message like. On reddit or where specifically? Pilling it says. In my experience, you have better results Cyril, or you better know her in a way that set you apart in her eyes, because otherwise you're just another dude feeding validation down their throat. Drone of old 9 says. Every day. I text her, and she texts me back. We even call each other. 9.5. Yes. We even talk in person. Lol. Fair Assumption 6385 says. 9 out of 10 times I get a response 5 out of 10 it turns into a conversation 3 out of 10 it turns into a date 2 out of 10 she shows up. From there it's either a hookup or a second date. Elegant Mankey says. I only ever hit on 3 women through Instagram and managed to go on dates with 2 of them. The third was cool, but she was taken. Delafire says. Why the heck would I even DM strangers? CZ2 says. I tend to only message women slash strangers on dating apps that either message first or show signs of a personality in their bio and I seem to have great success usually. But I tend to forget to reply or can't be bothered as I'm a pretty busy guy now sadly, trying to remember tons of conversations gets exhausting for me almost like a social battery but for conversations. It's also hard to tell if the conversation would have naturally fallen off and I just was never around long enough to notice lol I don't really see any other reason or way to message women unless it's for anonymous hookups or something but that's never really been my cup of tea. But either way you'd be competing in a sausage fest and being honest, most women can get hookups pretty easy so it often makes me wonder why does this woman need to be anonymous? What's wrong with her, that dating slash hookup apps don't work for that stuff? Plimpus1620 says. Cold messaging worked 50 to 50 for me, if I had something to talk about, common interest and, if the girl was talkative then it was easy money. Going in with just hey what's up, and no kind of plan to further the conversation proved to give low success rates. You should at least have a general game plan, if you approach someone, I think it's more common than people think it is, and definitely underrated. Wiru Lewis 91 says. Like 1%. It just never works for men. Thuirisa Memachin says. So far, never. Repla Cement Brief says. I would say I get a response from most, but that doesn't mean it always turns into a hookup. QK0FT3 says. It depends on looks. My friend at the same house gets messages from girls he doesn't even write. I don't like girls that easily, so I just write to intelligent girls I get to converse topics, but in the end I have no good looks which results in rejection. I'm losing weight currently and even at 115 kilograms with a little strong body type I'm able to have very long conversations. Even on the street women don't look at me with disgust anymore. So it's all looks 99% of time. Niner age I4 says. I'm going on a date with one of them next weekend. She started talking to me in the comment section and is visiting my area from a different state. I'll be with her Friday slash Saturday. I'm kinda nervous, actually really nervous and still thinking that I don't fk it up. Managementable7280 says. Well bought to brag, but I haven't been rejected before. I never knew said any girl.
r slash ask men. Genua says. Men over 30, what do you feel when you want someone in your life because you feel lonely but also don't want to deal with the work of dating and relationships? You are at that age and you are single. You would like someone to spend the rest of your life with. You want that comfort of having someone to come home to, feel their touch and love. But you've also dealt with lots of BS regarding dating. Previous relationships broke you and you tried dating but don't know if you want to know a new person again. Do the same process all over again to understand them. It is tiresome. Are there more of you that feel this way? How do you deal with it? Herefant74 says. I got a dog. He doesn't ask for much. Definitely better than a girlfriend. Thebus Licker King Cooper says. If only they lived longer, man. Dogs with the lifespan of, say, a large parrot would be the shit. Meteor Boyce says. If previous relationships broke you, how many more times are you going to touch that stove before you learn not to burn yourself? In general, everyone should learn how to be content by themselves. Thebus Licker King Cooper says. I look at my apartment, think about all of the stuff someone else might not like even though I do. Think about the hard work it took, just to find this little bit of comfort. From there I just decide I like my life more as it is, than having to give parts of it up, to maybe make someone else happy. For an indeterminate amount of time. Will Chingbuk Brother 63 says. I can only speak for old men. I'm now 60 and retired. I no longer want someone to spend my life with. I like myself, and my life just fine, and I'm not willing to change anything, just to get some old lady to touch my dick. Specialist Eena9267 says. Learning to live happy just you is what you need to get to. Slumpy Couch says. Don't take dating so seriously. Be open to it, but don't focus on it. You'll know the right woman, when she's putting an effort to see you, and get to know you. You have to be okay with being alone, and doing your own thing, no matter what the outcome. Melissa Miranti says. Get a cat, they're lower maintenance than dogs, but will stick to you. Just for facts 6969 says. I'd like a relationship, but every single woman I meet here has such toxic traits. Horizons 190 says. I keep reminding myself that someone to come home to feel their touch, and love isn't free. You also have to be there for them. And if you, as I do, want kids, then you're going to be inviting more separate people into your life from there. Comatost1 says. Sounds kind like me now. Going by this advice I guess I'm getting a dog. Wist65 says. I think it's all about finding someone who likes to live the way you do. Women have all the quirks, good and disgusting, that men do. Just gotta keep looking till you find your match. Then the relationship won't feel like work cause it'll be your lifestyle with a friend tagging along for a lot of it. Priority Analep2193 says. Get a cat and a sex doll. Keep company with other men, you'll feel at home, and they won't criticize you for trivial things. The only women in your life that you now need to listen to is your mum and sisters, if you have them. Forget women mate, just smile at the nice ones and walk on. Conversation for weighty 600 says. Honestly you can be married and feel that way. So it is not just about relationships. But can I hear about that dog thing once more? Narissa Forp says. I felt the same around 24 to 25. Then one day I picked up snowboarding. It was the first time in my life that something other than a lovely woman gave me a feeling as powerful as falling in love, the kind that's so powerful you can feel it all throughout your body. That gave me a new perspective in life. Girls are great, but there's a lot more to life than just girls. Life will give you very many awesome things for you to experience. I can guarantee you this, if you open your mind. Just gotta be patient. 
Hendrix1967 says. I, 56, have friends in different places, local, about one hour away, one in the middle of the country, that I visit three to four times a year, and one back home where I'm from. It's the perfect arraignment, no one stays more than a night, and I can be by myself a lot. I don't have to go searching for someone new, or learning someone's personal pull over again. I've got no one to impress. No one is busting my ass for the stupid shit I do. I've recognized that I'm an amazing boyfriend, but a shitty husband slash partner. It works for me. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.